Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So this video is really a follow on video to a video I done the other day about moving apps from your Fire TV stick to a USB device to save space. And I said in there, there's some apps that simply you just cannot move. So if I go into uh, applications and then manage installed apps, and I go into say something like Def Squid, um, there's no move to USB. But if I go into another app, such as Total Commander, I'm given the option there to move to USB storage. So this guide shows you how to move those stubborn apps to a USB stick that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to move. Now, what you need to understand is not all apps can still be moved. You need to ensure that the app that you want to move to the USB stick can actually be uninstalled. And when I mean that, find an app on here, say like Def Squid, and make sure you've got an uninstall there because you'll need to uninstall it. Apps like some of the Amazon apps on here that don't have an uninstall, unfortunately, you won't be able to move them to a USB device. Now, also when I say move them, I do mean actually uninstall them and reinstall them onto the USB stick. So if you've got any settings on there that uh, you've, you've set, you might need to make a note of them on the actual app itself because it will wipe out any settings because you're essentially going to be uninstalling the app and reinstalling it again. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install an app. So press the home button on the remote control until we're back to this main menu. Go to find, go down to search, middle button and type in there explore. That's the letter X, P L O R E. And as you're typing it, you will see explore file manager appear down there. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button on the remote control. Make sure you've highlighted this blue background app middle button on the remote control and middle button again to start downloading. Now this bit might take a bit of time, it really depends on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your Fire Stick. As you can see, mine's now installing. Once it's installed, installing will go to open and there we go, mine's gone to open so it means it's now installed. So grab your remote control, press the home button on the remote control again, go across to the settings cog just over there OK, go down to My Fire TV, middle button on the remote control, and then go down to Developer Options, middle button. Go to Install Unknown Apps, middle button. Find Explore in the list, OK, and it should say that it's set to off. We need to turn that on, so middle button on the remote control to turn Explore on. Then we press the picture of a house again to go back to the main menu. And we press and hold the picture of the house or the home button until this menu appears. Go across to apps, middle button, and then go down to explore, middle button. When explore loads for the first time, you need to make sure that you allow explore access to photos, media, and files on your device. So make sure that allows highlighted, middle button, and then you should get this come up. So what we need to do is we need to go to the left there and we need to go to app manager. Once you've highlighted app manager, and it's highlighted in a light, a sort of blue color, middle button on the remote control, and that opens that up slightly. Go down to installed, middle button, and there we go. We need to go down to the app that we're having trouble moving to the USB stick. Okay, so Def Squid in my case. So once you're on it, press and hold the select button or the middle button until this menu appears. Go down to copy to clipboard, middle button once, okay, and then we need to go up, and we need to go up to internal shared storage. You might have to toggle the up and down buttons to get the uh, cursor moving again. So uh, once you've highlighted internal shared storage, middle button on the remote control, go down to download, middle button on the remote, and then press and hold the middle button on the remote, okay, and... Uh, then go down to paste middle button and that should put Def Squid in the download folder just there. Now what we need to do is we now need to uninstall Def Squid so if we go down to app manager down there middle button go down to installed middle button 
find Def Squid in the list here or whatever your app is, okay? Press and hold the middle button on the remote control till this menu appears. Go down to App System Info, middle button once. Go down to Uninstall, middle button. And it says, are you sure yet? So middle button again, and that should uninstall it. Then we need to go back up to the top here to Internal Shared Storage, middle button. Down to Download, middle button. Down to Def Squid or whatever your app name is there, middle button and it will start to install. So uh, just press the down button and the across button to go to install, middle button, and uh, it will now be installing. Now this bit might take a bit of time, it might be slower because it's installing on a external drive and rather than the internal memory. So uh, just be patient with it. It might look as though it's frozen from time to time, but believe me, it is still doing something. Just be patient as you can see. Mine's just moved on a little bit there, but it does take slightly longer to install on a uh, external drive than what it does the internal memory. So uh, there you go. So it's now installed. So just going to press the middle button on the remote control. And now we can delete this here, this, this uh, file that's under download that we've put in there. It's just taking up space on the Fire TV stick. So with it highlighted, press and hold the middle button till this menu appears. Down to delete, middle button once and then middle button again to delete it. Once you see success there, it's uh, deleted. So now if we come out of the uh, file explore, press the picture of the house or the home button on the remote control, go across to settings there, down to applications, middle button, and then down to manage installed applications, middle button, Okay, and if we go down and we find Def Squid there, as you can see, it's actually installed now on the USB drive. It's got the little USB icon. If we want to double check that, let's go right to the top there and highlight show where it's got all applications, middle button, go to USB only, and there you go. These are all the, all the files that are on USB. So there you go. We've got Def Squid and Explorer has actually gone to USB as well. So press the back button on the remote control. Let's just uh, go into Def Squid and see if it works. So I'm just gonna find that, cross, just, just press and hold the picture of the house on the remote control or the home button until this appears. Go to apps, down, and there's Def Squid there. So highlight it, middle button, and there we go. It's loaded. And like I say, it's loaded now from the USB stick rather than from the uh, internal memory. Now. If we decided we wanted to move it back to the internal memory, if we go across to settings there, down to applications, middle button, go down to manage installed applications. Let's find Def Squid in the menu there. Middle button, okay. There is now an option to move it back to internal storage. So we can do that. Just highlight move to internal storage middle button on the remote control and it will move it back to the internal storage. If we haven't got that option to move it to internal storage, then we'd have to uninstall the app, okay, and then go back into the um, the app store and re-download it. So there you go, I'm just moving it back to the internal disk. It says it might take a bit of time and there you go. It's now moved it back into the internal storage. So there you go, that guide showed you how to move apps that are quite stubborn and won't let you move them to a USB drive. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.